shall your brothers go to war and you sit your behind here? That's what Moses is saying. You got to correlate that with many of us today. You got some brothers in the war, in this fight, and other brothers just sitting back. He's even brought his prophets out here to try to get you to understand to start doing his laws, statutes, and commands. Where are they? Who are they? But this world is given to them. All because of what we didn't do. But when one comes down to it, I guarantee that she's the people over you. You are the children of Israel. That's right. I told the truth. If we keep breaking God's law, that's going to be our wounds. That's going to be our destruction. Social injustice. Economic justice. We don't care about pleasing the Most High God. We hate God. That's the final issue. Oh, come here real quick. Don't be embarrassed to step to your brothers, man. We love you too. We are here for you guys. You young, so you ain't too caught up in them lies. Not yet. Don't let that doctrine overcome you, brother. Hey, what is the Bible? Who, who does the Bible say God is the God of, bro? My brother, who does the Bible say God is the God of? Right? The Israelites, right? So you got to know that you're an Israelite, right? You do? So why in the hell are you in that church? Right. No, 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 no. For who? For the females? Why, why, why? Because you're trying to crack one? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. Why? You just in there for the females? What should you be doing knowing that you're an Israelite? What is commandment one? Not to serve other gods, right? When you go into that Christian church ran by white Jesus that doesn't exist, you're in idolatry. So you're breaking God's laws for a woman. You know that's how the world came into sin? Because of what Adam did for the woman? We got to be stronger than that, brother. You're an Israelite. Give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel. Now Israel. You know you're Israel, right? Come on. What does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does God require of his people? His chosen people. Come on. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God. How do you, how do you fear God? How do you love God? How do you serve God? How do you walk in all of God's ways? Come on. With all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep what? To keep the commandments. Keep what? To keep the commandments. The commandments of the Lord and His statutes, which I command thee this day for thy good. For thy what? For thy good. The commandments of God were given to you, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, for your good. What more good can come to the black man and the Hispanic man that has been oppressed way too long in this world? What more good can come to those that have been slain in the streets? What more good can those that get the worst education. What more good of them to those that get the worst of the of the work field? What more good can come to those that get chemtrails put over the neighborhoods? What more good can come to those that were told they were nothing for far too long? What more good can come to you but the kingdom of heaven and the rulership of the world? That's what Christ promised you, Brits and Hispanics, if you return and repent as the Israelites that you are. So we're coming from every church around Washington State every Sunday to preach the true word of God. The gospel of the salvation of the souls of you Israelites. No longer will we accept our people sitting in these damn churches. We've been lied to for too long. Christ is a black man from the tribe of Judah. And he gave repentance to the twelve. The twelve tribes scattered abroad to the four corners of the earth. So Andy, tell your brother... So quit teaching lies, Andy. It's time to teach the truth, Andy. The prophets are back. The day of the slave is over. We will no longer be slaves in our present doctrine called Christianity, Andy. We're going to do thus saith the Lord. So, you got to keep the laws of God, bro. Give me Numbers 15, 38. Bring it out. Shake your head if you want to, sis. We're shaking our hands right back at you. Because you want to keep learning white Christ. The money never existed. Why would you believe a doctrine they gave to you when they taught it to you when you couldn't read or write? When they told you Christ was a white man and then come to find out, lo and behold, he's black, 
Why can't you and I? We Numbers chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. God said, you know your forefathers, they were uh, native, they were natives to this land, right? You ever seen their clothes when they got them long fringes on their clothes with that border of blue on them? Did you know that was a biblical principle that they were keeping, a biblical law that they were keeping? You didn't know that, huh? Because they told you this is the white man's book. The so-called white man is condemned in every page of this book. This is the black and Hispanic man's book. The black and brown man's book. This has nothing to do with him. Three. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment. They were wearing fringes in their garments. They, that was because they were following their laws. They was following the laws given to them by God. Come on. Throughout their generations. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. And that you sh and it shall be. Uh, hold on, hold on. That's not your property. That's city owned. That sidewalk is city owned. The sidewalk is city owned. He can be right there on the sidewalk if he wants. The side, hey, 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 Yokana, don't argue with him. Don't argue with him. The sidewalk city owned. You do what you want. They can't put hands on you. They can't put hands on you. We didn't say you try. We said you can't. So you can do what you want on the city sidewalk. Thank you that Babylon has certain laws set up where they cannot do nothing. We can come out here and preach the true word of God, and you can't do nothing. We speak unto the you understand? Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garment throughout their generations, and that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue, and it shall be unto you for a fringe that ye may look upon it. And remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. These are put upon us to remember the commandments of God. To remember the commandments of God. We're supposed to wear these things. You're supposed to have fringes on that shirt right now. So what you going to do? You going to keep coming to these whorehouses? Or are you going to repent and keep God's laws? Get his brother a flyer. Get his brother a flyer. You got one, bro? Look on that flyer. We got IsraelUnite.org. We teach classes three days, three three days, three Three times a day, seven days a week. Guess what? It's free. We don't want your offerings. We don't want tithing. Because tithing is a law of the Levitical priesthood. These patches tell you the laws are better way because Jesus nailed them to the cross and then tell you to pay tithes. What did they pay tithes in the New Testament? Huh, Pastor? What did they pay tithes in the New Testament? Look, he's, oh, he's, oh, he got the nice clothes. Why well, he probably got people in there starving? Need money for rent? But they're not giving it to him. Pastor got the dealy up there. Look at him. The Lord has blessed me. <laughs> That's what they do. They don't teach the people of God the right things. They're lawyers. They are servants of Satan. Get that real quick. Give me uh, Ezekiel 34 again. Start at verse 1. Read. Ezekiel chapter 34 and verse 1. And the Lord, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, Prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. We're going to prophesy against you leaders of Israel. You so-called pastors. Wait. Prophesy and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God unto the shepherds. Thus saith the Lord unto you. Hey, come here. You can get closer. We ain't going to bite. You can take as many pictures as you want. We don't care. Read. Read. Be to the shepherds of Israel. It says destruction to you false pastors, you false prophets, you false priests. Come on. That do feed themselves. What? That do feed themselves. You pastors in these churches feed yourselves. That's why you got the nicest clothes, the nicest cars. Just like on Don't Be Minutes, he said, why wow, pastor got to have a nice house? Why wow, pastor got to have a nice car? Don't ask. Don't ask, I said. Don't ask. You who realize that that the Lord wants you to give generously into his church. Amen. Don't ask no questions. Don't ask how come, uh, 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 why come the pastor have to have him a nice house? Uh, uh, why come a uh, uh, pastor got to have a nice car? Uh, don't ask. I said, don't ask. I said, don't ask. No questions. Just That's what y'all do. You tell your turn as you don't ask. No questions. Right. Hey. Should not the shepherds feed the flock? Uh -huh. Ye eat the fat. You eat the fat. You get the goodliest portion. You do all this and don't what? And ye clothe you with the wool. And ye kill them that are fed. 
but ye feed not the flock. Verse 3, ye eat the fat, and ye clothe you with the full, with the wool. You guys call yourself in the goodly apparel. Right. Well, you got people in your congregation struggling to make ends meet because you're wicked, and it's time to repent, black pastor. It's time to teach your congregation the truth, black pastor. Because if you don't, if you teach them the truth, the Bible says, ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, black pastor. The truth is God's commandments. That's the iniquity that you guys have not discovered for the so-called blacks and Hispanics. That's why our people are still at the bottom, because you pastors won't teach us the laws to get us out of this damn captivity. Read. Ye kill them that are fed. You, ki you what? Ye kill them that are fed. You kill those that are fed. Because when the prophets of God come out here and teach this truth, and we put it in their minds that they're Israelites, who come back to them and say, no, 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 no. The lion. No, 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 no. They're the devil. No, 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 no. They're teaching you lies. But guess what? Sis, in the, in the pink head. Sis, in the pink head wrap. Sis. Come here, let me talk to you real quick. I want to show you a couple things, sis. Hey, right here. What's your nationality? You're Latina? You're white? What's your dad? What's your father? Oh, come on, come on, sis. Come here, let me tell you something. Let me show you something. Sis. Uh, we're going to be in Seattle for two days and we'll be back out here somewhere. But we congregate out here, so you can come, you can hit us up. If you look on that thing, it has, three, it has a number and has three names. Mine being one of them, two being the other, other rank, higher ranking officers. Hey, sis, we ain't out here because we hate nobody. Sis, Latina, sis, we ain't out here because we hate nobody. You don't have to be, I promise. You can just stand to the side. Stand to the side. Stand behind the camera. We just want to show you some things, sis. You ain't got to be recorded. This is just for our protection. Turn the camera this way. All right, all praises. So look, sis, cause you, do you believe in God? Yeah, of course, right? Do you believe in the whole Bible? Okay. So what does the Bible say a person's lineage is based off? Both parents or one parent? No. These are things they haven't taught you yet. Sis, you listening? Give me Numbers 118. Watch what the Bible says, sis. No, but look, we're going to we're gonna show you everything with God's word because our word doesn't matter, right? Right here? Why? Because if you come look at the sign, just stand by the camera so you can see more. We ain't going to put you on camera, sis. I promise you. You got my word, okay? On what? On this? Well, we, he won't turn those to you either, right? You got my word. So you see this image? Don't put it on camera, bro. No, but do you see that image? Do you know any history about you? Uh, about, the, about who you are? As far as your Hispanic side? What? Who came with that image to your people? I know that this is the image that is shown. Right, but who came to your people with that image? No, that image traces back to Cesare Borgia. No, no, I get that, but I'm saying that he actually is traced back to the Middle East. Okay, that's fine. So who gave your people that image and when? The conquistadors. They came with the cross and they came with that image. It said, bow to this God. That's how you, that's the foundation of Christianity. You hear me, sis? The conquistadors came to your people too and said, bow to that image. That is the foundation of Christianity is based on this image. Right? So if something is rooted in a lie or rooted in anything, like the Ku Klux Klan, right? What are they rooted in? Hatred, right? So what comes from the root? A tree, right? And that tree bears fruits, right? A more hatred, a more bigotry, a more violence, a more killing, right? Right? So look, if the Ku Klux Klan said, you can now join us, would you join the Ku Klux Klan? Why? Because what it was rooted in, right? Right? And what it's rooted in, though, right? It's rooted in hate. So when they came with this doctrine called Christianity, rooted in a lie, and it bears fruits of lies, because I can show you many lies about Christianity right now in the Bible. Why would you follow that doctrine? Yeah, we, we believe in Christ. Because Christianity doesn't teach what the Bible teaches. It is. You want me to show you? I can prove it to you. So why are you in pants? Old school? Did God not say he's the same today, tomorrow, and forever? So how is it old? 
Well, we're, we are here to teach the so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans that they're the sons and daughters of God. That's right. Just those three, though, not the whole world. Right. See, that's Christianity in your head blocking you. Stay here, sis. We're going to prove it out of the Bible. Like I told you. But you got to stand for God 100%. Who did, who did, who did, who did Christ love? Who did Christ come to die for? What does that say there in the Bible? John 3, 16? Is that what you're talking about? God told me. They, they talk from the Old Testament, right? Look. Did Christ teach? Did Christ? Did Christ? But we're going to read things out of the Bible. Our, our opinion doesn't matter. I'm telling you right, right now. My opinion doesn't matter. Just like your opinion doesn't matter. The word of God matters, right? The scripture says, let God be true. Read that real quick. Give Romans 10. The scripture says, let God be true, right? So we're going to let God be true. Read. Do you think Christ walked around teaching happy all the time? He didn't? Give me Matthew 23. Let's see how Christ was. Let's see what Christ did to people. All right, watch. Bring it out. We believe in the true black Messiah that Bible describes him as. We teach how he taught. Christ called himself a man of uh, austere man. Do you know what austerity is? You don't? Somebody put the definition up of austerity on your phone. Get it on your phone. Read this. Matthew chapter 23, verse 1. Matthew chapter 23, verse 19. Ye fools, what did Christ call him? Ye fools and blind. For whether is greater, the gift or the altar that sanctified the gift. Verse 20. Whose therefore shall swear by the altar, swear by it, and by all things thereon. So he called them you fools and blind. Christ was blasting people when he walked around Jerusalem. He taught those that wanted to come humbly to him. He taught them in, in the spirit of meekness, but he still spoke loud because he taught to, he taught thousands of people at once. You can't sit up there talking to thousands of people doing this. Christ taught like this. So it's not anger, sis. What is love, sis, according to the Bible? Mm, I'm talking about according to the Bible. What's the verse that explains love? Okay, give me first John 5 and 3. I know you probably don't know, and it's okay. We're here to teach you because we love you. We have no hatred towards you. First John 5 and 2. First John chapter 5 and verse 2. By this we know that we love the children of God. By this that we know we love the children of God. When we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God. This is what love is according to God. This is what God feels is love. Read. That we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not grievous. God's love is keeping of his commandments. Because look, if you had a husband, right, and he said he loved you every day, but he beat you, does he love you? Does he truly love you? Right. So if we say we love God and we don't do what God says, can we say we truly love God? Can, can we truly love God? Yes, he is about conviction. What we can't do is come out here and condemn you. We can't say you're going to hell. We can't say that. We can't say that. All we can do is warn you. All we can do is warn you. Why are you always worried about white folks? There's a whole bunch of other nations you could have pointed out. I'm, because that's who came in with that image. That's who came with the lies. That's who came with the lies. God said he divided the nations. Give me Deuteronomy 32 and 8. We're going to preach thus saith the Lord. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike Moss. How you doing, sir? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 8. When the Most High divided the nations their inheritance. The Most High divided the nations. All people are not one. Everyone are not the kids of God, children of God. Give me first give me second Chronicles chapter 6. 6 and 1. Second Chronicles chapter 6 and verse 6. But I have chosen Jerusalem that my name might be there and have chosen David to be over my people Israel. His people who? Israel. Who? Israel. Let's see if God stopped having the chosen people in the New Testament. Give me Matthew chapter 2 verse 6. 
God's chosen people has always been you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. God said he loved you above all. God separated the Israelites from all people. God gave us his laws to keep. Why do you break them? Why do you turn the truth of God into a lie? Read. Matthew chapter 2 and verse 6. And thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not thou least among the pre princes of Judah. For out of, for out of thee, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people, Israel. His people who? Israel. Who? My people, Israel. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. Read. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus. What is Jesus going to do? For he shall save his people from their sins. The laws of God were only given to the people of God. When you break God's law, you are in sin. So only one people did Christ come to save were those that were under sin. Christ came to die for the Israelites. That's right. That you black Hispanics and Native Americans. We are here because we love you. We ain't out here because we hate you. We are here to teach you the truth. The truth that they haven't taught you for hundreds of years. That you guys are the Israelites. Let me John chapter 3. This isn't a church. No, this isn't. This is a house of lies. What is the church according to the Bible? Give me Acts chapter 7, verse 38. Read. We're going to show you what the church is. Acts chapter 7 and verse 38. This is he that was in the church. That was in the what? That was in the church. The what? In the church. The what? This is he that was in the church. He being Moses was in the church where? In the wilderness. What? In the wilderness. The wilderness of Sinai where the Israelites were. The church is the body of Israel. God doesn't dwell in places built by man's hands. That's what the Bible says. We are the temples of God. We, black men, are the temple of God. Why do you defile it by marring your beard? Why do you defile it by shaving your hair bald? Why do you defile it by not wearing your fringes? Why do you defile it by not, by not by eating pork? You can laugh all you want, bald head man, but until you repent, Christ ain't dealing with you. That's right. That's according to the Bible. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spoke, which spoke to him in Mount Sinai. And contrary to popular belief, only you black, Hispanics, and Native Americans can repent because only you were given God's laws. That's right. Acts chapter 5 and verse 30. So 29. Because this is the problem with you blacks that sit up in these churches. You rather obey men instead of God. Read. Acts chapter 5 verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We are to obey God rather than men. How do you obey God rather than men? Reading the Bible and learning the truth for yourself. Shalom, this I'm Elgin Nathaniel. Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.